Did you get up this morning? Most people do not get up in the morning. They get down in the morning. Oh, it's morning. It's raining outside. I got to put up with the same old co-workers I always put up with. My children are driving me crazy. And then you turn and you look at the person lying next to you and say, oh, it's still you. Is that the way that you start your morning? See, most people start their morning by getting down in the morning instead of getting up in the morning. And what I'm going to talk about today is how to get up in the morning. What do I mean by that? I mean mentally up. Again, we start thinking right away about all of the responsibilities that we have to do in the day and we start getting ourselves down. And do you know that most people will spend up to a third of their energy before they even hit the front door? Well, I say if you get up in the morning, then you can conserve your energy and for the rest of the day, people will get the best of you and not the stress of you. So how do you get up in the morning? The first thing that you do, let's just pretend you're lying in bed, your eyes are closed and you're relaxed. And the alarm goes off. Okay, I use bird sounds or nature sounds. Get rid of your alarm clock that you have right now because what happens when you hear eh, 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 it actually stresses you awake and the stress response starts in your body right away. Don't we have enough stress already? So get rid of the alarm clock, go to nature sounds. So again, you're gonna wake up in the morning, you're gonna hear the nature sounds, and you're going to slowly allow your body to wake up. And before you start moving around, I just want you to stretch your body. Just stretch your arms, your hands above your head, your whole body, stretch one leg and then the other. Just allow your body to stretch and relax. If you start your day tense, what happens when the real stressors of the day hit you? You're gonna be twice as tense. So just allow your body to stretch. And remember, you're only as young as you are flexible. So this is a good thing to remember too. Now I want you to yawn. Everybody yawn. Oh, it's catchy, isn't it? Do it again. Oh, even stretch and yawn. Now, why would I ask you to do that? Because you are getting oxygen into the lower part of your lungs. Most people only get oxygen into the upper part of their lungs, not the lower. I want it all the way down, get rid of the old oxygen, get the new oxygen in there, and really refresh your body, get it going through all your limbs, every cell in your body, and especially your brain, because I have a feeling you're gonna need the brain today. So that will help you immensely. Now the next thing that you're going to do after you've stretched, after you've taken some deep breaths or yawned, get that oxygen into your body, you're going to take your legs and swing them to the edge of the bed. Just swing them over the edge of the bed and let them dangle for a little bit. Just let your legs dangle, stretch your spine. Again, you're only as young as you are flexible. And again, you don't wanna be tense through the day. So this will actually elongate the spine. It feels really good and let them dangle. The next thing you're going to do, and this part is optional, you can ease yourself up if you so choose, but you can also leap out of bed, which is the way that I like to do because it puts energy in the body. Right away in the morning, you've already got your serotonin going. Now you need a few endorphins going. Get your body moving by leaping out of bed and then scream, I win. See, it might be the only day, the only time during this day that you get to win. So scream, I win, and you get to win first thing in the morning. How great is that? And then the next thing that you're going to do as you are standing there, you're going to recite a mantra. Now I'm going to give you my mantra, but if you have your own mantra, that's wonderful. Everyone is entitled to whatever feels right for you. Here's mine. I want more, hear me roar. If it's to be, it flows through me. I'm gonna walk the walk and stand the stand because I'm a leader with a plan. If it's to be, it's up to me. Now, what does that mean? I want more, hear me roar. That means I have an intention that I'm setting for this day, that I'm gonna have a great day. What is that? Uh, happiness? Is it going to be more productive? Is that what you want for this day? Are you going to be more focused? 
for the day. What is it that you want? Set that intention first thing in the morning. I want more, hear me roar. Tell the world what it is that you intend for this beautiful day. I want more, hear me roar. If it's to be, it's up to me. That means you are taking personal responsibility for you. It's not about what other people are doing or it's someone else's fault. It is up to you. You're gonna walk the walk and stand the stand because you're a leader with a plan. I don't care what your job is, you lead by example. Do you know that sometimes when we act badly, it gives others permission to act badly too? If we lead by example, by setting a positive mindset for people, by showing what we can do in life, then guess what? We become the leaders. I want more, hear me roar. If it's to be, it's up to me. I've got to walk the walk and stand the stand because I am a leader with a plan. This is your plan of action. Because if it's to be, it's up to who? It's up to you. Take personal responsibility. Get yourself up in the morning so that others can get the best of you and not the stressed of you.